So what's going on guys? It's JM, it's Speedboxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions and what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to on my channel. So predictions, predictions, predictions. This Saturday night we've got a fight in the Bantamweight division. It's a world title fight, a domestic world title fight. You've got Ryan Burnett from Northern Ireland who is trained by Adam Booth and Adam Booth says that Ryan Burnett is one of the best fighters he has ever trained in terms of talent and potential and he's going after a world title in his 17th professional fight he was seen as a top amateur winning the youth olympics and stuff like that and he's going up against Lee Haskins and Lee Haskins is a fighter who's been around for about 15 years he's done everything basically in the sport of boxing from the English title to the British title to the Commonwealth title to the European title and eventually the world title and the way he won his world title was very weird <laughs> Lee Haskins because he went over to Vegas to fight Randy Caballero who was the IBF bantamweight champion it was a big fight for Lee Haskins travelling over to Vegas this was a guy who predominantly has fought his whole career in small halls so to go over to Vegas to fight a world champion was a big fight for him but at the weigh-in for that fight Randy Camalero came in and he was about 10 pounds overweight so Lee Haskins won the title due to Randy Camalero not making weight so he went home with a world title and an even throw a punch but he had to defend it against the mandatory challenger which was a guy called Morales, I can't remember his first name and he managed to win that fight convincingly on points and then he fought Stuart Hall on the undercard of Kelbrook and Golovkin and he won that fight convincingly a lot of people said the fight was close and it was closer than what the scorecards had it in my opinion but I still had Stuart Hall winning the fight by a couple of rounds but this is a tough test for Ryan Burnett in my opinion because a lot of people are saying Ryan Burnett will walk through Lee Askins but I don't really see that because Lee Haskins is a very awkward guy like he's a spoiler and he's very awkward to watch Lee Haskins like in terms of being exciting Lee Haskins is the total opposite like when he fights he slows the pace down of the fight and it becomes very boring in my opinion and don't get me wrong it's effective for Lee Haskins but it's not really appealing to the fans so this fight could end up being a dual fight depends if Ryan Burnett can put it on Lee Haskins and somehow get through this tricky style that um, Lee Haskins has because he's one of these guys who'll slow the pace down he'll be flinging a jab at you all night long and he'll be making you reset and it's very awkward for opponents to really get into a fight against um, Lee Haskins don't get me wrong, Lee Haskins has been beaten before. He has three losses on his record and then three losses are all by knockout. He was knocked out by Jamoy, the European champion, a couple of years back. And he was also stopped early on in his career at British and Commonwealth level. But he has really refined himself as a fighter, Lee Haskins, and he has improved as a fighter. He's a guy who don't really take boxing very seriously. I think he does boxers now, Lee Askins, for the money. Because in interviews, when he's asked about, oh, do you want to unify and stuff like that, he says, I'm not really, I'm not really too interested about unifying or anything like that. He's just trying to set up a future for his children. And you can't really knock him for that. If that's his goal in boxing, then you can't really knock him. Everyone's different. But is that lack of passion going to go against him on Saturday night? Because he's going against Ryan Burnett. And Ryan Burnett is a very good fighter and he's hungry. This is his chance to become a world champion very early on in his career and he's going to try and snatch it with two hands. And he's very similar to a lot of Adam Booth fighters, Ryan Burnett. He like leaps in and stuff like that when he throws shots and his hands are not particularly high. So I'm thinking if he has his hands low, then Lee Haskins is just going to pop in with his jab. So very interesting fight. I don't know. I think if Ryan Burnett goes in there and he really wants it, and Lee Askins isn't really stepping on the gas and he can somehow get through Lee Haskins style 
then I think Ryan Burnett beats him. I don't think he stops Lee Haskins. I think he can beat him on points. But Lee Haskins could easily beat Ryan Burnett just because of how awkward his style is and how he can slow the pace down of a fight into his favour. But I'm going to pick Ryan Burnett to win this fight. I think Ryan Burnett is a very good fighter. I think he's very talented. And I think he just wants it a bit more than Lee Haskins. Even though Lee Haskins is the defending world champion, I think Ryan Burnett is going to go out there and try and perform in front of his home fans. And I think that will be enough to beat Lee Haskins if he can somehow get around Lee Haskins' style. But obviously, him and Adam Booth will probably have to set up a game plan. And Adam Booth says he has a game plan in place for this fight. So it'll be interesting to see if Ryan Burnett can execute it because if he can execute this game plan then he can beat Lee Haskins because it's not like Lee Haskins is this unbeatable fighter or anything like that no he's not there are flaws in Lee Haskins game but it's just that he's very awkward but I see Ryan Burnett winning the world title on Saturday night I think he can win the fight by about three or four rounds so I'm going to pick Ryan Burnett to win this fight on points but I'm not going to write Lee Haskins off, that's all I'm saying, because Lee Haskins is very awkward. I just think it's time for Ryan Burnett, and he's going to win the world title on Saturday night. So this is my prediction. Comment below your opinions. What do you think of this fight? Do you give a shit about this fight? Do you think it's a good fight? So just comment below in the comment section. What do you think is JM? It is beatboxing.